what is new in Booster Fall. So we're going to be doing it in comparison to Bootstrap 3, so if you're not familiar with Bootstrap at all, this is not the tutorial for you. However, if you know what Bootstrap 3 is, or you have a general concept of Bootstrap, well, he has a one for you to describe what is new. So Bootstrap is still in the alpha state, and what does that mean? Well, it means that things can still change, however, it's very late in the alpha state, so it's a good time to start playing around with it. It does also mean that you should not be using this in production mode, so keep that in mind. Don't take something in alpha state and put it into production because things can't change and it might break your production side. So that being said, let's jump into it. So the probably the biggest change with Bootstrap 4 is in your grid system. It works the same way, sort of. You don't have to do much different. However, what's going on behind is quite different. So where it used to be pixel based is now rem based and what does that mean? Well if you're not familiar with rem, rem is relational to the HTML tag, basically the root of your document. So if you were to put a font size on that and say that was 12 pixels and you then had something that was one rem, well that would be 12 pixels as well once you convert that into a pixel. However, if you were to put two rem on that would be twice of what you put on the root. So that would be 24 pixel, and that's how that works. The big change is the move from less to less. You, if you're familiar with uh, preprocessors, uh, you will know that the old version of Bootstrap was working with less, and now we're working with SAS. And in a community, that's a big font less for SAS. However, if you're more familiar with less, you're sort of going to be forced to work with SAS. However, it, SAS is quite nice when you get into it, but your preference might be a bit less. Unfortunately, Bootstrap doesn't come with less anymore, so it's all built in SAS, and we're gonna be having a look at it later this tutorial how to be working with it and how to set a project up with it. So, your project would still be set up with a grunt runner, and you would then be able to sort of run it that way. So it's very similar to less. I mean, it has a lot of same features, and you, once you understand the concept of less, you should pretty have a pretty easy time getting into SAS. So the next big change would be that all wells and panels from Bootstrap 3 would ha have been changed in this one. Uh, so they changed to something called cards, and it's sort of like a, an element, a group, or something to handle all sort of individual content groups or something, how you would describe it. So it's all under one now, and I think thumbnails, if I remember right, is under there as well. So that's that's one. So you'll be working that differently. So your worlds and panels moved into cards, and then you got your reboot CSS. Well, Bootstrap 3 used to use normalized CSS. You're probably familiar with that one. However, Bootstrap 4 they got their own little version, so they're basically taking normalized CSS and added some Bootstrap features to it, and it's now called reboot CSS. So that's your normalized reset. All right. We also got some changes to media queries, so you know, version it was a bit difficult to work with. So the media queries now be changed to M's instead of pixels, so it's all again relational to other things and it's more dynamic. We also got a new breakpoint just to give us a bit that bit more control. And one of the great things really about uh, Bootstrap 4 is the variables. So all these new features, there's a lot of new variables, so you can turn on and whatever you want to switch off, you can just go in and your SAS and you can change it in blink of an eye. So it's really easy to get new features on and off and it really helps you reduce the size of your document. So very nice. Tether.js is also a part of Bootstrap 4 and what does that provide you? Well, it provides you a bit more control over your tooltips in, in terms of placing them in your layout. So you will have to include that if you're going to be using your tooltips. Another thing we have in um, Bootstrap 4 is jQuery 2.0. And why do we have that? Well, we're going to get to that in just a minute. But what it does provide you is more features and more security and, well, newer version, better, basically, much better. Bootstrap 4 also comes with jQuery 2.0 and that's quite an improvement because there's better security and we also got new features and I believe it's even a small document. So all benefits there. We're going to get into why is jQuery 2 is suddenly in this version of Bootstrap in just a bit but let's just point out another thing the whole framework is considerably smaller as well with Bootstrap version 4 we got about 30% smaller footprint and that's a big improvement 
and you can even go in and turn off some features as well and make your whole framework is slightly smaller depending on what you're going to take out so that's really great a big improvement for if you're going to have your website loading faster so why is jQuery 2.0 in well it because in bootstrap 4 that it just basically decided to drop any support for ie8 so if you're having a project that needs to be compatible with ie8 you're not going to be doing it with bootstrap 4 however you can still use version 3 for this if you're going to want previous versions as well need to be that so well what does that mean well it means that you'll be able to take advantage of some really nice css features and be looking forward rather than backwards and that is basically what bootstrap 4 is going to be a lot about so there's a lot of new nice features that comes with css clip icons have also been dropped in bootstrap 4 and well the problem with the glyph icons were that a lot of people were actually just using other icons so if you are looking for some icons well go to font awesome which is very popular uh, alternative to glyph icons so it sa basically saves you the hassle of having to remove the previous glyph icons and getting all that stuff out of it that was just cluttering your project so that's a big improvement as well in some ways it does mean that you need to go get your font awesome to get the glyph icons however it also means you get a bit more control so that was the major changes let's just have a bit of a look at some of the minor features that have also been added so that's yeah, been added a new sort of class called the display and what that does is it kind of makes your heading stand out a bit more so you see the screenshot just down here on the page this is how they look obviously these change depending on what uh, typography you're using however if you go in and say display one on an h1 tag you'll be changing it to similar style you can then change it to display two and display three and so on similar as you've been working in previous versions we also got some spacing utilities classes in Bootstrap 4 and what they allow you to is to basically add padding and margin very easily by going in for example where you've done your column size you can then do M hyphen B hyphen LG that would basically mean that you want margin or you, if you had made that a P you will get padding and then you, your B would be uh, your bottom so that's top bottom and all and so on that's all a letter for that and then in the end is basically your size so LG would be large so in other words the first one would be your margin your padding the next one would be the direction and the last one would be your size so that's the spacing utility classes that comes with bootstrap 4 as well nice little feature here as well and last but not least we also got outline buttons in the new version so it's very easy to get an outline button you basically just do your similar as you btn and then you go uh, whether you have a primary or a secondary as similar as before however you just finish off with outline and then you get an outline version of that so very easy to make outline buttons in the new version as well as always guys don't forget to like and subscribe and i hope to see you in the next video thank you very much for watching guys